Hello. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, again, uh, we are, I am showing you another uh, video tutorial. So, I am introducing a new uh, geospatial uh, platform for um, opportunities for sharing our data and our research output in the online or in anything where we can show our outputs or we can show our own created data and share our data with the other uh, platforms or we can share our data with, for example, with our stakeholders when we create our, uh, our project, uh, which is in a form of a map. So I am going to give you a short introduction of what is a Valiaris map is and um, how is it being used and uh, just an introductory part of, of the usage of this. Um, okay, so we all know that we have a lot of geospatial platforms available online. So uh, the trend of the, there are many uh, agencies, uh, many projects like the, the ITs are creating this type of platform for like analysis, the perform analysis, data sharing, uh, collection of data, and so on. So we have, we are familiar with the graphs on the queue. So the old, this is an example of the platform. We have the open layers. We have the Argus Hub, which is not free for all. And then the GitHub, the open data monitor, and the common uh, platform that we use in our classroom in MSU, which is the OpenStreetMap or the Google Maps. Okay. So about this new geospatial platform. So this is uh, a bit new platform. So this is a geospatial data platform that provides tools to store, analyze, and visualize spatial data in effortless. So it is easy to use and easy to manage in data sharing and then uh, editing. You can style your map, you can improve the, the map, and then you can create the different files of your, uh, of your data. So uh, Valiaris, uh, according to their uh, management plan, so they have uh, three management strategies. So uh, storage, so just special database, so serve as storage. They can visualize, you can edit, you can, uh, you can edit your map here, uh, you can improve, and you can uh, do anything on your map. And then analysis of just special data. So there are also uh, options that you can use or perform just spatial analysis in this uh, platform. So this comes with fully access through an open standards API. So when we say API again, so this is the application programming interface. So this is like a language between two applications and then the another. So like for example, uh, our Valiaris maps can be opened in our QJS. Now, our QGIS can be open data from the queue can be open to OpenStreetMap. So, uh, the data that we have comes very handy because all of these uh, platforms are in standard APIs. So, when we say standard APIs, so they are certified by the Open Geospatial Consortium. So, when we say uh, Open Geospatial Consortium, so the the OGC. So they set the standards of the data that they set the standards of the data, they set the standards of different platforms that uh, store the just puzzle data, manage the just puzzle data for security purposes. So once the platform is, is complied or certified by the OGC, then we can be sure that this platform is safe because we are we are about to upload our vector files so like for the example in our school in EBSU we got our data vector points and then we upload our points here in points or maps we upload here in the Villaris and then it would be available online so for the safety 
it could be it should be in API standard so that it can be shared with with any platform and for the safety purposes. So the main purpose of this app is for education. So that's why I show you, I am showing you now the 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 video on how as this um biliaris maps can be useful in the future if you are going to plan to present your research or share your research output to the the social media or, or to the other platforms for dissemination information so this is for the solely for the education and the research so it, this is an edoc program for academic research who need the mapping platform as tools in education research. So, um, like say for example, our institution, the EVSU, will get a license of this Balearis maps. Then we can create our own, our own domain for this map. So this time I will be using the domain uh, for the Asian Institute of Technology, where I am now currently. Uh, taking my master's degree. So since I don't have the the license for the ABSU for now, so let's use the I am using the the account in EIT. So but for the education in the future, if we are going to use this one, so it says that this one is free for the academic and for the research purposes. So this one is quite a bit uh, handy platform that we can use uh, in the future. So first things first, before you can access or we can, before you can use the platform, uh, you need to sign up. So you can just search your name, the biliaris.eit.tc.ph. So if we are going to get a license, so the, the URL becomes now for the EBSU, so it will be biliaris.ebsu.edu.ph. So right now I am using the the account in I am using the domain in AIT. So that's why uh, the account for the biliaris is aat.ac.ph. And then you have to sign up. For the signing up, you just write your email, then your password, and then your name, and then your last name, and then your organization. So for you, if uh, for EBSU then you can write EBSU and then you have to agree to the terms and services of the buyers before you can log in. So once you click agree and then sign up, uh, an email will be sent to your email account. So for the confirmation of your uh, confirmation of your data in this platform. So once you receive an email, you just click OK on the email that they provide it to you and then they will give you now this uh, login interface. So for the login interface, just write your email on this part here. Um, let's say I can, okay. So there's, you can write your email in this part and then your uh, password. So this one is a bit easy, right? So you click log in. So when you click log in, this page will will display you the Balearis management, uh, the other uh, Balearis API documentation, Balearis portal, and the Balearis uh, API administrator. So as a user, this is all we are only allowed to. Uh, search for the Valiaris management where we can upload our uh, shapefile or we can upload our data. We can edit our data, we can create a map and so on using the Valiaris uh, management. So go to Valiaris management, then click that one, and then this will show you directly after clicking that. So this is the main page of the uh, platform. So take note that um, API was adopted in Balearis map platform to enable the authentication and data control. So uh, if you are going to create our own data, we need to create our API key since for the security of our maps. 
So you just click the create API key, which is on the uh, pointed on the hand cursor. Click on that. Once you click, and then this uh, page, another uh, page view. So in this uh, page, you just write what do you, what. Uh, what is the file name or the name of your API key? So you just try. So for this example, we write ph underscore data view because we are going to uh, to use the data on the Philippine city. So just write uh, ph data view. You can edit the advance. So you can either edit the API the tile API, you can edit or view. If you want it to view, so you just, just just like view the feature, you cannot edit. So if you want to edit, then choose edit. And then once this is finished, you can click create. So once you click the create, okay, so click on the create. And then the data, uh, the feature that you created with the API key uh, will be displayed. So uh, we write the ph underscore data view. So that right now, we see ph data view on the first list of our API key. So, so the keys are, uh, we, we cannot see the keys in this feature. So you need to click the eye icon so to see what are the keys, the numbers you can use. You can copy the keys. So you just click on that icon. And then you can see now these are our API keys. If you want to copy this API keys, like you want to share these keys with uh, the other person, your classmates, if you want to share it with the other uh, data creator, then you can copy the keys and then share it to them. So if you want somebody to work with you, you get to work together on this map, then you can share your API keys. Okay. Now, before we, uh, before we can start, uh, we need to go to the studio. So for this studio, we can now start with creating our maps, uh, uploading our files, and then or create the style of our map. So there is on the left button, there is a three dots. That is the studio. You click on that and this will show the studio. So on the first studio, uh, which is the feature. So the feature will be, it depends on what type of picture will you upload. So like example, you have, you want to upload a vector file of uh, like example in this, um, video we're going to use the vector file of the Philippines. So you just click the new feature here and click on that and then this create new feature page will uh, display. So you just write the title of your, your feature. So for me, I wrote PH cities. So because we are using the cities and places of the zone area, Philippines, so just write what title do you want. Okay, so if you look at in the drag and drop file here, so this, um, this, the data format could be JSON, you can use S3. So there are ty other types of format that you can open in this Valiaris platform. So for now, we are going to use the A3 shapefile of the different cities in the Philippines. You can drag if you have a file. So take note that this platform doesn't read the file which is not on zip. So it should be a zip file only. So you have to zip your files before you drag on this box or drop your box. You can click on this uh, drag and drop file and then go to the files that you want to, to display or upload on the map and then click open. Okay, so this means that our so if you can see now, so you can see that the 
folder that we have from our uh, from our document is already here in the Valiaris. You need to click the create in order for the files to be uploaded. So click, click on the create. And then as you can see on the on the right side, so it's importing. So just wait until it goes a a hundred uh, percent. So once it's a hundred percent, then uh, we can now proceed with the other features. So for now, uh, as you can see on the top, there is feature, the coverage, the tiles, and the styles. So for now, we can only um, edit the tiles and the styles. So we are not allowed for now to use the coverage. So we just wait until the import data takes one hundred a hundred uh, percent. So if you load a bigger data, so it would take time. But if you only use around an uh, ten NB. 20 MB or 50 MB file, then it would go faster. But in my case, I use the Philippine cities in places, so it, it would take a lot of time. So anyway, once this one is done, so if this is finished, you can see on the bell on top, so it would give you notification if your data is running um, good or if it's done they will give you a notification so they will notify you on the progress of your uh, upload so next is uh, we go to uh, we are going to create our picture so again since we have the ph cities and then we go to our tiles so once the upload is done Okay, so this is the PH cities that we uploaded. So you can see on the map, the different points or the, the cities that we uploaded. So what we only see is at, at zoom six. So on the right side, you can see the zoom level. So at the zoom level six, we can only 10 display features. But if you want to, if you really want that you have a lot of points to see on your screen, then you can edit on the display feature on the upper part. So you can have option if you want to show just 10 features, 20, 25, 50, or uh, 100. So you just select. So like for example, if you want to select 100, so these are um, the points, which is so now it's going 70%, so almost done. So we it just keep on running. So we will wait a little more. So I think uh, if you change the zoom level, uh, you can see more details on the map, more points, and so on. So next that we already uploaded our picture, then we can now create our tiles. So uh, I'm going to, we are going to uh, go to the studio again, click on the three button on the left side, click on that. And then before we proceed with the tiling, so the feature is not yet ready to be published. So once we, um, once we upload our data, so we need to convert it into a vector type. So we, we cannot publish it in, in that form here in the Valiaris. So the feature is not yet ready to be published. So the vector tile data process is needed to make the collection data set again. So we are going to create a collection of data set. So it's not allowed that we only uh, upload the vector and then publish. No, we, it should be in a form of collection in which it has the tiles and in the, you can open the vector tiles in the QGIS or you can share the URL of your created vector tile and, and, and you can open it on the browser. So there are several features that can be integrated to make a data collection in a form of vector tile. One is you can create the style of your map 
you can edit the the size of the you can edit the size of the feature you can cluster your points you can edit the labels and so on uh, before you publish it on the map so i have here an example so what we are going to do so what we have now is a vector data set so the points that we show you the the philippine cities those are vector data set in a form of points so what we are going to do is uh, what the platform is going to do is they are going to create a tiling grid and the tiling grid will be composed of, of tile so in a form of data set so the tile uh, if you remember or if you encountered like for example in the google map so if you are browsing on a google map and taking a zoom or zoom in or zoom out uh, and then there is a like a uh, a uh, picture or an image uh, of the map. So those are tile set. So those are several, those are images. So our vector tiles, our vector data sets are converted into uh, an image data sets to be uh, available for the uh, for the publication or for the if we are able to publish our maps because in some instances our user or the one who wants to see our maps doesn't want the vector file they just want the the image file. so this are an example so the tile data set so which composed of uh, hundreds of tiles so these tiles depend on which zoom level so the more zoom level the more information that can you get and then if the zoom level is high and then you have more more tiles okay so now you again we go to the studio and then go to tiles and then we are going to create a new uh file set so new add new tiles stay in this button the plus new tiles you click on that new tiles and then another uh, this create new tiles will pop up and then just write the title and then if you want to write description just write a description and then select uh, select feature source now our source would be the feature that we uploaded so check the ph cities because this is the one that we uploaded the vector file for the philippine city so check on that and then click on the create so once you check on that, so as you can see, we have already the PH cities in the tile folder. So you can copy the, you can share the API of this PH cities, and then you can generate a tile using this uh, on the left side next to the API service. Okay, this one. So you can generate a tile in this uh, option so but before we create a tiles okay so we go again to studio and then to style so we are now going to add more styles on our on our vector on our file then styles then go to new feature then new style so again we are going to create a style or we are going to edit the the visual the, the the face of our vector so the new style and then to the title again so since for consistency we use the ph cities and then you can select there in the gallery we have uploaded um the design they already created a design or a uh, style so for now let's use an empty style so we we use uh, as base map the vector that we uploaded will be used as our base map since our map will be blank since we don't have we don't use any style so we use the empty style but if you want you can use um the black one 
the position, map tiler, basic, any anything you want. So for now, let's use the empty style. Then uh, you go down and create and select create. And then you select create. You can use uh, go to the page cities that you created and then edit the style. So you click the edit style here on the right side. And then this will show directly right after you create the edit style. So you add layer again. You click the add layer. Click on that plus add layer. Then this will show directly on the right side. So you edit the layer. So there you just write the layer name. You can write the page cities for the source. Okay, just write the page cities, then save. There is a small save icon. Just click on that. And then as background, use the page cities feature that we uploaded. So the, as our background, then the points will show directly on the map. So the vector that we uploaded will be now serve as a background of our map since we don't use a default style. Okay, so you, you can add labels on your points. So you just go to the, the source and then, okay, you can edit. If you want to add more, you can edit this one, then go to the style. You can change the color, by the way. So you just go to the style. You can change the opacity. You can change the radius of your of your vector file so you just click on the radius and then you can change from 3 to 7 to 10 or whatever uh, values you want so it will change there then you can add labels on your on your vector so just go to the configuration again and then style and then for the source, it should be configuration, the source, and then it should be the symbol. So the symbol would be uh, on text. So you just uh, edit the text and then you add the label. So now that we already have uh, the, we already have our vector tile, then if you want to share your map, Anyway, you can add more. Uh, this is just a, a broad introduction. But if you want to style your maps, if you want to add more labels, if you want to add more clustering, then you can perform before you share it. Okay? So the good thing about Balearis is uh, it can provide us the WMS and PMS. So for if you remember on the QGIS or in the QGIS, uh, we can connect our vector layer through the WMS. So, uh, good to know that this Balearis map has a platform and generate the styles item. So, several collection data can be integrated to generate a, a map. So, once you created your maps, you created the style, the color, and so on, then you can now share uh, you can you share in the QGIS. So now I am going to uh, show you how are we going to uh, create a connection on our Valiaris data to the QGIS. Okay, so you go to your style and then to your created cities since and then your API service you click on that API service and then it will show you get style, HTML, WMS, WTS, uh, PS, and map embedded. So if you want to share your style on that map, you just copy and share it to anyone. But you need to select the API key. So the API key is the first thing that we did on the first part of this video, which is creation of the API key. Okay, so you just drop down and then select which 
uh, API key you want to use. Since we created the API key on the PHD view, so select on that. And then you can now get started, you can now create the HTML, WMS. So the HTML, you can download the HTML and then open it in the browser. And then it will show directly your maps. The WMS, if you want to share your WMS or open your WMS in the in the QJS, just copy that one. Okay. And then uh, anyone, anything, so just copy the URL. Now we are going to share the tiles that we have created to the the Google uh, to the QJS. So we go to okay, we go to tiles. We go to tiles and then click on the tiles that we have created, and then you can edit the you can edit the cluster. You can edit uh, the cluster at every zoom level. Like say for example, I edit the cluster up to around 14 zoom level and then the distance of around 40. So what I see is all of the points which is in around 40 you distance, it will be clustered. But if you change the cluster distance into other, uh, in other distance, it will also change the display. Like for example, you change the zoom, zoom level like this is uh, zoom level three. If you change the zoom level into six, so the the clustering would also so change. So it depends on which zoom or uh, what level of zoom uh, that you use on your uh, map. Okay. So once uh, you are set with the zoom level, and then you are set with the filter data, you can go to i'm going to use the annotate uh, you can go to the save here the save button once you click that save button then, then it will generate a vector tile okay once you zip on that okay and then click on the share of your api and then once you click on the share the URL of our tile will show. So you just copy. Um, okay. So this is the URL of your tile. Just copy this URL and then go to, okay, and then go to, like say for example, a, a browser. Go to a browser because you cannot. Uh, use this URL directly to your QJS. So you need to open uh, into a new. So let's say, for example, this is, let's open a new browser. And then you paste the URL, the entire URL in the browser. And then what you can see is you go to the bottom of this URL. And then you can see HTTP, Valiaris AIT.ac core API tiles 1.0 beta tiles and so on with the XYZ information of your points. So you just copy the whole URL at the bottom of that tiles. Then you open the QJS. Okay, so you open the QJS. On the left side, you can see the WMS or the WMPS. So you can open on that, right click, and then new connection. And then after you click the new connection, so it will give you the, oh, sorry. So right click no connection and then the name. So you just write the name and then you paste the URL here. So this is now the URL that we copied at the bottom of the, the browser. Okay, so just copy and then once it's done, it will directly upload it to, so this is the page cities. It will be directly uploaded to our, 
um, QJS. So in the QJS, you can edit the vector. You can edit the, you can zoom in, zoom out, and so on. So you can do anything on this. You can edit your style of your uh, file. Okay. So if you, so let's go to, I think I have to show the actual, so the actual point. Okay, so this is now the actual account that I created. See, uh, you can see the page data view. So this one is the error uh, that I used on this demonstration. So you can check the API keys on by clicking this one. And then if you want to copy the API keys and share it with anybody, you can just write this one. And then if you edit, if you want editable or view, so you just write on the settings and then so view only or editable. If you want to share it with anybody and you let them edit your style, then you choose editables. If you want them to just view your map and then choose view, then advance so you can change anything. On that. So if you have any changes, you just write update. And then you go to the studio. So this is the features that we created, which is on the cities uh, in the Philippines or places. So as you can see, only 10 features are showing. So if you change it to 100 and it change the zoom level to around 10, so you can see 100 items or 100 features in a one zoom at 10 level. So as you can see it now. Okay, so if you want to get the collection, you just right click on this API service. So if you want this feature, you can share it with anybody. Then go to the studio. We are just checking our tiles. So for example, these tiles. So we have created the tiles for the Philippine cities. So you can see around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, only nine points. But if we zoom up to 11, so if you zoom up to 11, you can see several points. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it depends on the zoom level. So this is called clustering. So you can modify your tile map. You can cluster the information. You can cluster the feature based on the distance of each point. You know, like if you want it at zoom level like this one, zoom level four, and then around distance this one. You just click, just save and generate tile. Click and just wait for this processing to finish okay so it's done you click on that and then as you can see you cannot see any points up to here so you just need to zoom in or you just need to zoom out up to four so if this is four yeah you zoom it to four so maximum is four so more than four you cannot see the points Okay, so you need to zoom out more. So if you change up to 16, then you can uh, you can see more points. So if you change that up to 16 and then wait for it for it to be uh, finished processing, it would take time because it's zoom 16. So they're doing a lot of things with the system. So you click. Yeah, it's uh, you can see more points now at zoom level 4. So if you could increase the zoom level, so you can see more. So it's called clustering. So you cannot see, if you don't use the clustering, so disable the clustering, and then to generate the files, you can see the, the hundreds of points which are, is, uh, which are not clustered anymore. So wait for it. I would take time because this file in the Philippines has uh, a bit of a heavy one. So you can see every time you do processing, there is a notification. So this notification will show you the if it's done or not. Okay, as you can see at specific zoom level, so there are a lot of points. So if you don't want to see this, a lot of points, then you can modify by using the cluster pointer distance. 
for the vector, if you're using the vector, you cannot use the cluster pointer, but you can use the simplification. So we, we would simplify the edges of your raster. But anyway, I don't have the data of the, of the raster of the vector polygon, so I cannot show you it now for the simplification. Okay, so again, let's go to the studio. Here's the style. So let's try this one. So you can edit the style. So you can edit the labels. Like for example, this is the label for the city. So we created this one during our exercise here in AIT. So if you want to see the labels of the points, you have to zoom in to a specific zoom level that you set. So if not, if you zoom out, you cannot see any more the uh, you cannot see any more the zoom of the labels of each point. But if you take the zoom and then there there are this uh, label. Okay, for the label, you can edit the level using this text. You can uh, you can change the, the font color, the font style, the opacity, the position, the size of the points. And then for the cities, if you want to change the radius of the points like seven, if you want it to be bigger or smaller, you can edit the points depending on your preferences, okay? So, and then save it. You just had, if you want to add more layer on your map before you, you publish it, then you just add this add layer. Like you want to add the labels, you want to add the clustering, then you need to add more layers. Okay, still working. There are still students who is, I see students who are still listening and watching my lecture video. So I hope my video is still helping you out in your study. So again, thank you and mabuhay.